Yeah. Good afternoon, everybody. Tony Marietelli here, Chair of ICPA. Welcome to another one of my ICPA in practice blogs. Well, if we, if you recall, last year um, CIS refunds were in a dreadful state. Our limited company clients, frankly, were made to wait ridiculously inordinate amounts of time, um, and such was the furore. Um, that I actually went along and met with the revenue and we got that incredible answer if you recall um, that HMRC actually invested more money in more staff, uh, took on more staff to assist in the refund procedure but then decided to train the staff with the existing experienced staff during the period of peak refund applications which um, uh, was incredulously received by everybody around the table but was so amazing that it had to be true because you can't believe for a minute they would admit to that unless it was true um, and that was the situation they were putting out um, so that was the reason why they gave out last year was so bad uh, do we believe it? I see no reason not to Ah, well, it's an uh, interesting one, this. So far, uh, we've had one document put up by HMRC on the review, and I'll read it to you. It says that you look, all, all our accountant friends, all the ICP members, would be really pleased to know that um, from April 2014, HMRC customers can expect an improved experience when they request a CIS repayment. So we're looking forward to an improved experience this time. Um, from HMRC. Uh, what they're saying this time is that, and they've actually it's written there, and I suggest everyone should take a download from the revenue website, keep this handy, and refer to it when the delays occur and when they get hit by nonsense. It actually says, and I'm reading this straight here, so I'm, I'm looking off camera, it says HMRC aims to process a company's CIS repayment claims received in writing or online within 25 working days, brackets, or less close brackets, from the date of receipt when the information sent matches what the HMRC holds. Now this is important. They're saying it's going to take 25 days if everything matches up. So in my humble opinion, if you fired off your repayment claim, 25 working days thereafter, you should be bombarding the heck out of them asking for your refund. Where there is a mismatch, HMRC will need to investigate the discrepancy, and this is what I love, with the agent stroke customer, and it says the speed at which the full repayment can be processed will be determined in part by the agent stroke customer response. Now, why does it not say by every response? Why does it not say by the agent, customer, and HMRC response? Um, let's be 100% honest, there's only one person who has anything to gain by not making a repayment and it certainly isn't the proposed recipient so uh, a little bit disingenuous there but one thing that is um, important it says that and it says here again that in these circumstances i.e. where you've got a bit of a mismatch HMRC will make a part repayment of the amount matched verified and will aim to do so in the above time frame which is very important. So even within 25 days, even if they say, I haven't verified all of it, we've got a bit of a discrepancy, they should at least pay the amount that has been verified. And that should be chased, and people should chase it vociferously within 25 days. One important thing, which is different, I think, from last year, and, and, and is to be welcome, you know, we're moaning at HMRC, or I am a little bit, um, with, <laughs> with reason, but they have stated that if as part of your claim, you put the customer's full bank details on the claim letter, then they will make any repayments by backs, uh, which is a, a, you know, a genuinely uh, good thing and hopefully will speed up the refund process because, as we know, the minute they say it's all been agreed, then it seems to take eternal amounts of time to write a check in the old days. So if you put that on, make sure you put your bank details on your claim for your clients so that the refund go will be paid by backs assuming it all gets resolved. Well, as I say, I think in all honesty, um, last year was so appallingly bad. Um, 
that we really cannot allow this year to be anything like that. The revenue are now decided to stick their head above the parapet and talk about 25 days, etc., etc. So now let's hold them to it. And as I say, I think we should all be pursuing our refunds religiously within 25 days, uh, working days, remember, and, and chasing it for all that we are worth. Because this delay does not just our, uh, our clients' trouble, it does the whole economy a problem, the whole thing percolates through.